Hey everybody, as you can tell, I have no brakes on my little John Deere tractor. You can see the brake band is just wore out and that uh, the brake line and on the brake band right here is just wore out on it. It's missing all down here. Uh, we will, I'm learning as I go. So I've never done one of these before. If you've, this brake band right here, uh, if you find, I have found one and they are $165. All right, so what I done was I watched a video on YouTube of a gentleman doing a Sears Suburban brake job, basically just like this. And what he done is he went on McMaster car and ordered the lining. You can order it one inch wide. This is the narrowest, they, thinnest they have, and I think it's a uh, three sixteenths. Yes, it's a three sixteenths, one inch wide, and I ordered two foot long. And with shipping, tax, and shipping, and everything, it was like fifteen eighty five. So I'm gonna give this a shot before I pay. I'll clean all this up before I pay $165 for one of these. All right. All right, everybody. I was able to get that pin out of that slot there. Here's the brake hub. And I've got the brake. Got the bolts out, got the pin out. And here is the brake tool the brake band itself. <clears throat> Sorry I didn't get the video of it coming out, but I, I I just had to have both hands. All right, everybody. Got this brake band off. Got it cleaned up. Best I can on the inside. All right. I'm going to clean it with some uh, cleaner real quick. All right, everybody. I got this as clean as I can inside of there. And I've already cut my uh, piece of brake material like this. Like that. So... Let's see, I got me some JB Weld. Harbor Freight had their gloves on sale for $5.99 a box again. They're back in stock like they used to be. Thank goodness. And they're back to the normal price. All right, I'm going to try not to dump that over again. Try to Spread this on here. Hopefully I'm in the camera range.
try not to get it on that part. Okay. I'm probably going to let this set up overnight. Push that back in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Hopefully that will be, I don't know. Let me go see if I can find a couple more of them clamps. I'm hoping that holds. If it don't, it's not from lack, lack of trying. I promise you that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let that set up overnight. All right, everybody, let's take this contraption apart and see how it's doing. It's on there. That's all I can say. Some of it ran out, but I'm going to try it anyhow. And it's on there. Goes back in just like that. It feels like it's on there pretty good. All right. I'm going to try to get it put back on. All right, everybody. I got that brake back on and everything. Uh, had a little problem with it. Uh, it is on there now. I didn't get to film it, but the 3 16ths is too thick. Uh, but I'll show you what I had to do to get that done. But also, up underneath of here, there's some grease fittings that I don't think they've seen grease in a long, long time. One right there, one over here. So I'm gonna clean those off and see if I can get some grease. And that looks like it was leaking and that, and it might've been, I did change the rear end fluid in this. I will check it again and see if I have to top it off and I need to put, uh, I'm gonna put some Teflon tape around this this time. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this and film it so everybody can see it. But I'll be back with y'all in just a minute. All right, everybody. All the Zerk fittings took grease. 
So I got everything greased up now. Happy about that. I gotta add a little bit of uh, fluid to my uh, rear end here on the uh, John Deere. Starting to run out. I got the plug somewhere, I just put tape on it. It had rolled slam across the floor on me. Bifo, my glasses are slid on my face. I can't hardly see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let me clean up my mess. I used my Dremel tool with that flat bit and I did it outside with the fan on, like I said, and a mask. And I uh, ground it down until it fit on that drum. All right, everybody, there's the brake assembly back on. The two bolts I hold it on is one's here and one's way back up in here. I know you probably can't see it. It's a 9 16 head bolt. Both of them are. Uh, this one's like two inches long, and this one's one inch long, but it works good. Uh, you turn this axle, it doesn't drag. You can tell where I ground it down to where it would fit. Uh, it seems to be holding pretty good. Hang on just a minute. All right, that's, this is with the parking brake on and the regular brake on. Uh, that should hold for a long time. Since the first one took from 72 to wear out, I, I think I'm pretty good on this one. But if not, I got another foot worth of this material. So, all right. This one wants to be a pain in the butt. There we go.
folks. All right, let's see what we got. All right, everybody, uh, that's going to be about it for the uh, brakes on the John Deere. Uh, they work good. The, the brakes are holding. The parking brakes holding. Now I don't have to worry about going down a hill with a, a trailer load of firewood pushing me. So that's all good. Just want to say hello to all my new subscribers and all my uh, loyal watchers. I appreciate all y'all so much. I'm getting ready to hit 200 subscribers. Uh, never thought I'd get that many, but, uh, you know, just one or two away. So if you like content like this, how about hitting that like button, the share button, the uh, subscribe button, and the, the bell icon so you'll be notified when I put up new videos. And, uh, you know, we're having some beautiful weather here today, uh, Easter but I promise you, they're telling us that by Thursday, we're going to be back in the 30s at night. So hopefully that won't last but a couple days and uh, we'll be done with all that and we can have nice weather uh, all the time until it gets so unmerciful hot you can't stand it. But listen, y'all have a good day. Happy Easter to everybody and uh, we will see you in the next one and aim high.